Thank you. I'd like to thank Rabbi Shmuley and Rabbi Sankani for this great honor tonight. In the last few years, I started working with Rabbi Shmuley. He's become a very good friend of mine, and he's honestly one of the coolest rabbis I've ever met. But more importantly, Rabbi Shmuley, along with many of my friends who are here tonight, have been partners of mine in trying to bring the Jewish people together. How about a youth network that is mission statement that is dedicated to the spiritual and social wellness of today's youth? This is a daunting task. For us, my friends and I can tell you, Toronto is a very big city, and most of the population is not Jewish. When we go to bars or clubs, as, as we often do on the weekend, trying to find a Jewish girl is like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Recently, we are feeling an increase in anti-Semitism. And recently, as it has reached close to home, with the boycott of the Israeli films at the Toronto International Film Festival, Sid Ryan and QP calling for a boycott of um, Israeli academics, and the debacles at York University. It feels as if the very fiber of Jewish life is being challenged. And this is why it is so important to hold by the events to a provide. We can show that it is okay to be Jewish. It is even cool to be Jewish. We can be secular, but still hold on to our Jewish traditions, heritage, and most importantly, our values. We host these activities in a fun and relaxed and enjoyable atmosphere. So far, we have organized events such as uh, Shabbat dinners, um, Sukkah party recently, and our most successful one uh, was in March where we had a morning party. We had about 60 to 70 people come, dressed up. There was a keg. It was a good time. <laughs> now let me give you a quick indication of the progress that we made. On December 4th, two weeks from now, Rabbi Shmuley, as well as myself and uh, some of my friends, have organized a Shabbat dinner. The event is called Shabbat 100. Why 100? Because we plan to get 100 Jewish youth in this event. So far, we have 94 from guests on Facebook. We have partnered with a fellow named Paul Transky, who's on our um, committee, who has a large network of people from Hillel. I have spoken with a woman named Debbie O'Seal, who works for an organization named Jump, and she has a large network of people of Jewish youth. And we're trying to combine the networks and hold larger events and have more shit ups. <laughs> In the spring, we are hoping to finalize a uh, trip for 20 plus, 19 plus um, years of age to go to New York. And later on, why not think big, a trip to Israel. Already, our planning committee has gone for me, Jordan Elias, Jordan Driver, Daniel Kaplan, Ellie Lansberg, Aaron Schachter, Ellie Nierman, and Mark Albert, to a total of 15 volunteers, all working diligently on these projects. Just like to end with a quote that I heard um, from Mark Twain, and it's been both motivational and inspiring to me, and it goes like this. 20 years from now, when you look back on your life, there may be some disappointment in the things you did, but there will be more disappointment in the things that you didn't do. Thank you.